This video is going to show you how to write the equation of a line that's either parallel or perpendicular to a line and has to go through a specific point. Up on the top of the uh, worksheet, let's talk about the two ways that you can write the equation of a line. First is slope-intercept form, which probably a lot of you recognize from algebra, y equals mx plus b, where m represents the slope and b is the y-intercept. If you look at the directions for this worksheet, it says to write your answer in slope-intercept form. So this is how we're going to leave our answer. But you also have to know point-slope form. And sometimes on the exam, they'll have a multiple-choice question, and they want it in slope, uh, point-slope form. So in this case, we have y minus y1 equals m, the slope, parentheses around x minus x1, and x1 comma y1, that's going to re represent the point that you are given. Okay, so let's try number one. It says, what is the equation of a line that passes through the point negative 1, negative 6, and is parallel to the line whose equation is 2x minus y equals 1? First step, you have to get your equation into y equals mx plus b form. Otherwise, you're not going to know what the slope is. So let's just copy down this equation and solve for y. I would subtract 2x from both sides. We have negative y equals 1 minus 2x. Then we're going to divide by negative 1. There's really a negative 1 as the coefficient. So divide by negative 1, the signs will change. So y equals 1 divided by negative 1 is negative 1, and negative 2 divided by negative 1 is going to be 2x. So here is the equation of the line that you are given. Now, although I don't solve this graphically, I just want to show you what the graph would look like. So that line is y equals 2x minus 1, what we just solved for. We need to get a line that is parallel to this line, but it also has to go through that point, negative 1, negative 6. So here's what you do. Let me just kind of separate this out. We need two pieces of information because we're going to start off in point-slope form. So we need to get the slope. Now, this question said about parallel. If you go back to um, lesson earlier in the week, we know that parallel lines have the same slope. So the slope is in front of the x, the slope is 2. We also need the point that we're going to go through, and the point is going to be the x1, y1. So our point was negative 1, negative 6 gave you in the question, so this is your x1, y1. So let's take this information and let's plug it into the point-slope form, right from the top right corner of your worksheet. So I'm going to write out the uh, formula for it, and after a while you, get used, you know what it is and you don't have to um, keep writing it. Okay, so let's plug stuff in. Now x and y just stays x and y. So we have minus y1, go to your point, y1 is a negative 6, so I really am subtracting a negative 6, which means it's going to change to addition. m is your slope, the parallel slope is 2, parentheses, x stays x, minus x1, go to the point, it's negative 1, I'm subtracting a negative 1, which means positive. Sometimes this is your answer. If it's multiple choice and you see point slope form, this would be your answer, but the directions said to write your answer in slope-intercept form, so if we go up to the top left, here's slope-intercept form. So we need it in y equals mx plus b form. So we need to solve for the y. Well, first step, we have to get rid of the parentheses and distribute. So we have y plus 6 equals 2x plus, distribute, 2 times 1 is 2. Solve for y, let's subtract 6 from both sides. So we have y equals... 2x, and then 2 minus 6 is negative 4. Here is your answer in slope-intercept form. And I just wanted to show you graphically how our answer makes sense. So I have the original line, I have our parallel line that we just got, y equals 2x minus 4, and you can see that it goes through that point, negative 1, negative 6. Now we're going to do a similar problem, except this time it's going to be a perpendicular line. So number two says, what is the equation of a line that passes through the point 3, negative 2, and it's perpendicular to the line whose equation is negative 5y equals 15x plus 25? First step is to get y equals, always, because you have to find your slope. So divide it out, and we're going to get negative 3x minus 5. So we need a line that's perpendicular to this line. But it also has to go through the point 3, negative 2. 
So graphically, here's what it looks like. Here's our line that we just got y equals negative 3x minus 5. Here's the point that we need our perpendicular line to go through, 3, negative 2. So first kind of visualize what that would look like, because remember, perpendicular lines form right angles. Okay, so first I'm going to take the slope, and right now it's negative 3 over 1, but this problem is perpendicular. So if you remember, the rule for perpendicular lines is we have to um, take the negative reciprocal for the slope. So I'm going to flip the slope, also change the sign, negative reciprocal. Negating a negative makes a positive. So that would mean it's a positive 1 over 3. So let me just separate this out. So when we plug into the uh, point slope formula, m is the perpendicular slope, that's going to be positive 1 third, and our x1, y1 is going to be the point 3 comma negative 2. So we're going to plug all of this into the point slope form. So I'm going to write out the equation y minus y1 equals m parentheses x minus x1. Let's plug everything in. Remember x and y stay how they are. I'm subtracting y1 which is a negative 2 minus a negative becomes positive. Equals m is the perpendicular slope, the negative reciprocal 1 third. Parentheses x minus x1 is 3. The question says about point slope form, you can leave it like this. But the question said, if you remember in the direction slope intercept form, we need to go further. We need to get rid of the parentheses by distributing. So I have y plus 2 equals 1 third x, 1 third times negative 3. You can just type that in the calculator when you distribute. It's negative 1. I need to solve for y, so I'm going to just subtract 2 from both sides to isolate the y. And we're going to get y equals 1 third x minus negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3. So here is our final answer. And just so you can visually see what this looks like, the blue is our original line. The purple is the line we just got the equation to, our answer one third, y equals 1 third x minus 3. And you can see it's going through that point, 3, negative 2, forming perpendicular lines. If you feel like you need to watch one more problem, feel free, but this is going to be similar to the other two that we just did. What is the equation of a line that passes through the point 1, 3 and is parallel to the line whose equation is negative 4y equals 2x plus 8? First step, get y equals because we have to find the slope. Now, 2 divided by negative 4 reduces to negative 1 half, so that's how I'm going to write it. Bring down the x. 8 divided by negative 4 is negative 2. Check to see if this problem is parallel or perpendicular. It is parallel, and parallel lines have the same slope, so we can use 1 over negative 2 for our slope. I'm just going to separate it out. So the slope or the m is going to be the same slope. It doesn't matter if you put the negative on top, in the middle, or the bottom. It's the same thing. And then the x1, y1 is our point, which is 1, 3. So I'm going to plug this in to point slope form. So y minus y1 equals the slope times x minus x1. Okay. y stays minus y1 is 3. Equals m is the parallel slope, negative 1 half, parentheses, x minus x1 is 1. You can leave it like this, but if, um, if it doesn't say how to write your answer, you can totally leave it like this. This is point slope form, but the question did say up above slope intercept form, so we need to get the intercept. So I'm going to distribute. So we have y minus 3 equals negative 1 half x. And sometimes you'll get decimals within here, like for the y-intercept. That's okay. Negative 1 half times a negative 1 is positive 1 half, which I'm going to write as 0.5. Okay, solve for y, so add 3 to both sides. So we get y equals negative 1 half x, and then 0 0.5 plus 3 is 3.5. So this is slope-intercept form because the slope is negative 1 half, and we have the y-intercept, which is 3.5. And here's our answer.